you have to scrape what I call a corrosion layer, centers of corrosion that's been built up that's on top of the grain. And once you remove that corrosion, she shows herself to you. Cypress is a very shy wood. From the sidewalk outside his antique shop in Denham Springs, Doug Ennis coaxes beauty from beneath decades of decay. I've been working on this one now about four days. He's looking for art in something as old as the swamp it came from. A lot of people take for granted that that old, that's old driftwood, no sir. This wood comes from underneath the mud. It's been there for centuries, some of it for thousands of years. Doug and a few of his buddies harvest sinker cypress from the bottom of the swamp. Check it out, monster. Trees reclaimed by the swamp centuries ago, preserved in a thick layer of mud, just waiting for someone to bring them back to life. The moment we pull it out of the swamp, full of slime, full of mud, full of dirt, I see right then and there exactly what I want to do with it. With a hatchet and a hose, Doug hacks away the grime until he finds what he's looking for. That little cluck, cluck, cluck sound, the sound when it's cutting through the wood and the smell of the cypress. It's uh, unique. All I got is right there. His shop is a testament to the majesty of the bald cypress. From wall hangings to sculptures, to rough-hewn bowls. Doug pours his soul into every piece. It deserves all attention that I could give it. Popping out, flying out. Looking past the muck. She's showing herself. You can see the grain. To find the treasure within. Showcasing Louisiana in Denham Springs, Rick Porche, WAFB 9 News.